Hi everybody, it's Wine Review Friday. I'm your host Candice and welcome to my first Wine Review Friday on YouTube. I'm so excited. So for those of you that didn't watch my Wine Review Fridays on my Instagram account, basically I review a new wine every Friday. Currently I have a membership through Wink Wine. So every month I get four new bottles of wine, two reds and two whites, and every single Friday I'll be reviewing these wines. I read the descriptions, I never read them before I hop on here so you can get my real time reaction. So without further ado, let's jump into our very first wine. This week's wine is a red blend. It's a 2019 Point de Passage. So that's the other thing I should probably talk about. I am just a regular girl. I don't have any knowledge about wine except what I've been told at wineries. I am just a regular everyday person who's trying to learn a little bit more about wine and kind of expand my palate a little bit. So a lot of the time I can't pronounce words. <laughs> <laughs> words, varietals, pretty much anything that's not English and sometimes even English, honestly, I uh, struggle through. So that's part of what makes this channel what it is. I'm just a regular everyday girl trying to expand her palette. So back to today's wine. So 2019 Point de Passage Red Blend. This is a medium bodied dry wine. Um, it looks like it's very heavy on the fruit and there's a little bit of earth in there. I'm not a huge earth girl when it comes to my wine. In fact, I really historically do not like it at all. So whenever I see earth in a wine, it does give me some pause. I will never push a wine away because earth is in the profile. I'm gonna try it. There's also a tiny bit of wood in this profile as well. I do like wood, so I'm excited about that. The tasting notes are pomegranate, raspberry, red cherry, and spice. So all of that sounds really good. None of that sounds very earthy to me, so this should be okay. The description reads, this Syrah Grenache blend reflects its heritage with masses of red fruit and sweet spice. Look for notes of bright red fruit with an underpinning of spice that make this quaffable wine a treat with cuisine from around the world. Quaffable. <laughs> so it says this wine pairs well with pizza, lamb, cheeses, and cured meats. Let's jump into this thing. So first we always swirl and sniff. It's best to set your wine down on a hard surface so you can give it a good swirl, but my desk is pretty low down here, so I'm just gonna swirl it like this. And then I'm gonna sniff. Yeah, it's definitely fruity. I get the fruit in there. Hmm. I feel like I'm getting some earth. Yeah, it. <laughs> It smells like a lot of earth to me. Red blends are kind of hit and miss for me. It's either it's fine or I really don't like it. I've never met like a chef's kiss red blend. I'm not sure about the scent, but we never judge a bitch by her scent over here. So let's go ahead and taste. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting more wood than earth in this one, which is very good. I was a little bit concerned. It is pretty fruity. I can't taste the cherry though. Yeah, it says pomegranate, raspberry, red cherry, and spice. I get the pomegranate for sure um, and a little bit of wood, but I'm missing the red cherry. Maybe my palate is just not advanced enough to pick it up. Yeah, I mean, this wine is kind of like I was saying, red blends I'm kind of just eh or definitely don't like. This one, I I think I'm just kind of like, yeah, she's, she's a red blend. 
I mean, am I gonna drink it? Yeah. <laughs> if you're a fan of the Grenache and the Syrah, I get both of those in here. It's, it is it is a medium bodied red. So with summer coming, it might not be your best option, but I'm gonna give this a three, three and a quarter stars out of five. Please take into consideration that I have literally zero wine knowledge except for what I've read. <laughs> So, what do my stars mean? Jack. She's a decent medium bodied red, a solid three, three and a quarter stars. So I am definitely going to drink her. I will be talking about Wink versus Bright Cellars in a future video. I did Bright Cellars for the last year and I just started with Wink. So when I have more data and base for comparison, I'll be comparing the two. That's gonna be it for me, guys. It's Mother's Day this weekend, so I hope you're celebrating your mom or yourself or any of the moms in your life. Have a drink for me. Cheers. Yeah, it's just, it's just fine. <laughs>